everyone and welcome to today's paint pour. We're going to try something slightly new. Um, we did a swipe yesterday. Uh, if you didn't see that video or didn't watch it, uh, I'll show you. It's almost all the way dry. It's still wet, so I'm going to be very careful. So we did a swipe yesterday and with that one we put the swipe color at the top we lined up all our other colors I put the swipe and we lined up all our colors and we pushed everything one way. So today we're going to do what's called a center swipe. So we're going to put the swipe color in the middle and the colors on both sides in thinner lines and then we're going to swipe with smaller swipe swipers. We've got these little swipers today um, and leave more negative space, leave more of the black showing. And we're swiping with black today instead of white and I've pre coated the board um, somewhat with the black. We're going to put some more black on in just a minute um, because I want to make sure that all the edges were pre-covered uh, because we don't really tell much. Um, we don't really tell much with um, a swipe. Some sort of paper the paint there. All right, so our colors for today, and I still haven't decided if I'm going to use all of these, but we'll see. Uh, our background color is Artist Loft Black. Our next color is going to be Cayman Blue. And I'm thinking of putting one set of colors on one side of the board, different set of colors on the other side of the board. Our next color is Folk Art Metallic Teal Topaz. We've got a lot of metallics in this one. Um, we've got Deco Art Extreme Sheen Sapphire. Tones. We've got Folk Art Metallic Fire Coral. We've got Folk Art Metallic Antique Gold. And Deco Art Extreme Sheen Copper. Side, what's going to be on which side of the center line um, as we start putting the colors down. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to put our spot on silicone into our paints so we get nice sounds. Okay, we're back. I'm not sure what's going on with the base coat, but we're just going to move forward. Alright, so we're going to start by drawing a line down the center with our black. This is going to be our swipe color. So sort of mark that that's the center. We'll start adding our colors. And just want to put a line with each color to start with as we decide
case, we're just going to put it a little bit first. Walk over to the swiper. Which time? You always want to swipe with a clean.
just a little bit more. See what pulls up and stretches to each side. Just so you can see you're stretching a little bit. Don't want to do too much because we don't want to really ruin anything we have. We're closing up that middle gap just a little and uh, seeing what we can do about stretching out some of the things that aren't quite the way we want them. Okay, I like that. Got some bursts of really bright color and a lot of good negative space. Oh, and I love the blend of the different colors. All right, let me pause you a minute and I'll take you down uh, to get a little closer look. Okay, I've taken off my gloves and cleaned up my edges a little bit and brought you around this side so we can get some good close-ups on the sky. As we look down in here, you can see all that lacing. Lacing. I think they're a little too bright here. Hold on, let me go close that curtain. All right, that's a little better. Now we don't have so much glare. We still have some more. Uh, just very shiny today. But you have all this beautiful cell formation and color. I don't know how to figure all that funky light I'm getting today. I think it's just that this is so wet. It's just glaring. Let me get up to the blue section. Look how bright those blues are with the gold. Lacing. And you just look at all the different colors in those cells. And the lacing going over. Really pretty. And down here you can see there's some lacing that's just lightly over the top. these light berry colors shining out over the black. And being that these are metallic colors, when they dry, they're really going to have some serious shine out of that black. But I think the overall effect came out really pretty. All right, we're going to let it dry and set up, and some more cells might appear as it sits, and I'll take some pictures later for you. Thanks for joining me.